It's fast. It's powerful. And it has more gadgets than James Bond's Aston Martin. This is the SAF's newest infantry carrier vehicle, the Terex ICV. The Terex's main function is to carry troops. But to do this job, it has something more than your average car. This may not be your typical car seats, but they're certainly comfortable enough. The Terex can sit up to 13 soldiers. And this is the brain of the Terex. This may look like any television screen, but is in fact the Battlefield Management System, or BMS. In wartime, the vehicle commander uses the BMS to do a few things. Look around its immediate surroundings, and because it's connected with other air and land platforms, it sees a bigger picture of the battlefield. The BMS can even help keep track of men equipped with the Advanced Combat Man System. The Terex also has its own weapon detection system, working together with the BMS to mark out enemy fire. The remote-controlled weapon system is then used to engage enemy troops. Okay, the remote-controlled weapon system on the Terex ICD we allow the gunner to engage the enemy from within the vehicle while the weapon is located outside the vehicle. For example, the gunner can use the joystick control here to move and maneuver the gun sight so that he can engage the enemy from the position inside. So what are some of the future developments for the use of the Terex? There will be four more variants coming up. For example, one of the variants is the anti-tank guided missile system. It allows us to mount the spike missile on the Terex ICV for us to engage enemy main battle tanks. SAF's 1st Battalion will be fully operational with the Terex ICV by October 2010.